Oh my gosh, we're here. We made it to episode three of Sit With Mel in a stairwell. Oh my god, I didn't even realize that that like rhymed. I love beautiful rhymes like that that just happen naturally. It's do I sound poetic or what? You know, I'm Bob Ross of words. What am I saying? I'm in a funky mood today. I have my first exam for geography that I've been studying for for like two weeks. I have it today and I'm, I'm very scared. I talked to the TA yesterday and he was like, this is probably the hardest exam in this class. Uh, and I'm already not that great at geography. Like I really, my friend and I were in the car yesterday and we tried, or she wanted to name off all of the um, countries in Africa and I probably got like five. Um, but yeah. Luckily for me, this geography class is also more about like weather and climate change and stuff like that. So I should be good after this topic about latitude and meridians and blah, blah. yeah. But yeah, today I have this Celsius, the tropical vibe one. This one's pretty good. My favorite Celsius is probably grape. That one tastes like red wine kind of, but you know, without the alcohol. So it's very delicious, like sweet. Um, so good. I have my squishy for support here. <laughs> this is my favorite squishy. It is the toast, or it's it's more like a grilled cheese little guy. But he's one of the softer ones. Like he's very thick and just so soft. And I'm wearing my wellness shirt that is fading really badly. I'm trying not to let toast hit the this dirty stair. <laughs> I have to remember, I am sitting in a stairwell. <laughs> this is not a clean place. <laughs> but that's kind of why I like it. I actually, no, I don't like it because it's not clean. I just love the acoustics. So yeah, let's bring it back together. Let's bring it back around. Today, I just want to talk about my favorites. All of my favorite stuff, um, favorite perfumes that I love, music, of course. Um, my favorite Netflix shows, my favorite la di da. Okay, let's just get into it. I definitely wanna start with perfume. Oh my gosh, Mod Vanilla Ariana Grande is so, so good. That is like the best perfume I have ever smelled in my life. I'm serious, so good. Oh, the bus honked at me. Okay, um, Billie Eilish, her perfume, the one with her like bodice. I think it's just called Billie Eilish. Um, the packaging is so beautiful, like it's so pretty. And the smell is this like musky vanilla. It's, it's an elegant smell. So for like a night out. And then the Ariana Grande Mod Vanilla is more like a daily perfume, I'd say. So yeah, those are my favorite perfumes at the moment. I also love anything Victoria's Secret. Their perfumes are so good. The body sprays, um, can't go wrong there. I've literally, do you know those perfumes that are called like love potion or whatever? They're like, I forget what they're, what the word is, but it's something about it that like, you just spray it on and it attracts people to you. Like that's crazy. C smells are crazy, but they do make everything better. Smelling good makes everything better. So yeah. Netflix shows, I'm honestly not watching anything right now, but stuff I've watched all the way through that I've loved, especially during high school that got me through high school. I feel like I'm repeating stuff. Yeah, it would probably be Never Have I Ever. Okay, I can't tell if people are coming down here or not, but I'm just gonna keep talking. Never Have I Ever, Gilmore Girls, oh my gosh. That was me like freshman year, sophomore year high school obsessed with Rory and Lorelai. They're like talking, their conversations were so fun to watch and listen to. And I just acted like I was Rory in school. I was like buying posters and shirts of Harvard. I had to take a pause. Apparently everyone is loving these steps today. <laughs> Usually there is no one in this stairwell, but everyone's using it today, so. Yes, Lorelai and Rory. I don't know who my favorite guy was. Probably have to say Dean. There's just something about his like 
youthful and the way he treated her, you know, it was just cute. But I know everyone likes to say the blonde one, what's his name? Logan? So I went through my Rory Gilmore era in high school and then what other shows? I love Stranger Things, mainly the first three seasons. Are there only three? <laughs> I don't know. But I love Stranger Things. The first season was so good. I was so scared during the beginning when they're in the elevator and the monster's just there and it's like bah, bah, bah. That scene is so intense. For some reason, like when someone asks me my favorite something, I can't remember anything that I like. Everything just, my brain is empty. But <laughs> yeah, those are probably my top um, that I would rewatch now. Gossip Girl, oh my gosh, Pretty Little Liars. So good. Um, we're like probably like five minutes in, and I think it's time for a song. <laughs> Who agrees? Um, let's see. What should I sing? Hmm. Pain is just a consequence of love. I'm feeling sorry for the sake of us. It wasn't my everything till we were nothing. And it's taken me a lot to say. Now that he's gone, my heart is missing something So it's time to push my pride away You are, you are, you are my everything You are, you are, you are my everything Ariana Grande. People literally keep walking through here. It's actually crazy. Um, I wonder what they think I'm doing. Maybe just like chilling. No one cares. <laughs> so yeah, I do have my ex geography exam today and I'm definitely procrastinating studying right now. But like, I have, feel like I've studied enough and uh, it's fine. This is relaxing. It's better to be relaxed than like stress studying. I've been studying enough. I'm trying to convince myself. Oh no. Is that another person? Okay. There's so many people coming through here. It's actually crazy. Um, I think I just want to sing another song and I could do more favorites, but literally I can't think of anything else like I don't know what other topics to do for a favorite. I really don't. I'm basic. I just like shows, music. I did perfume. I don't really have a favorite makeup brand. I use all kinds of different things. Favorite artists, maybe. Like, I love Ariana Grande, Adele, Mac Miller, Michael Jackson, obviously. Anything who's, anyone who sings very emotionally and soulfully, um, like in Billie Eilish, What Was I Made For? You could like feel the emotions when she's singing it and anything that's super powerful, like the fact that you can bring out emotions through like music and singing is what I love about music. It's just, and it connects people together. That's so beautiful. I just, you can't get that anywhere else, that connection. Oh, I love it. Yes. So I kind of want to sing something Adele, and yeah, I'm really close up. That's a little close. <laughs> what can I sing? That's Adele. How does Easy On Me start? I don't know how it starts. Go easy on me, baby. I was still a child Didn't get the chance to Feel the world around me I had no time to choose What I chose to do So go easy on me Ooh, make you feel my love. 
When the rain is blowing in your face And the whole world is on your case I could offer you a warm embrace To make you feel my love When the evening shadows and the stars appear and there is no one there to dry your tears I could hold you for a million years To make you feel my love I know you haven't made your mind up yet But I would never do you wrong I've known it from the moment that we met No doubt in my mind that you belong I'd go hungry, I'd go black and blue I'd go crawling down the avenue No, there's nothing that I wouldn't do That was so painful